An annulus or circular ring is a region between two concentric circles. The radius of the outer circle we'll call R1 and the radius of the inner circle we'll call R2. To get the area of an annulus we'll use the formula for the area of a circle from the previous video. The link to that video will be in the description or you can click here. Since an annulus is a region between two circles, its area is equal to the area of the outer circle minus the area of the inner circle. So the area of an annulus is equal to pi r1 squared minus pi r2 squared, which is equal to pi times r1 squared minus r2 squared. And this is the formula for the area of an annulus. Now let's see how we can use it in an example. Here is an annulus with the outer radius 5 and the inner radius 3. To find the area of this annulus, we just need to put 5 and 3 instead of r1 and r2. So the area is equal to pi times 5 squared minus 3 squared and that is equal to pi times 25 minus 9, which is equal to 16 pi. Here again, we have the formula for the area of an annulus, but we can show another perspective to this formula. First, we'll need a few things. One of them is the perimeter. The outer perimeter, which we'll call P1, is the circumference of the outer circle and it is equal to 2 pi times r1. The inner perimeter, which we'll call p2, is the circumference of the inner circle, which is equal to 2 pi times r2. And the total perimeter is the sum of the two and it is equal to 2 pi r1 plus 2 pi r2, which is equal to 2 pi times r1 plus r2. The total perimeter we'll just call the perimeter. And we need one more thing, and that is the width of an annulus, which is equal to the radius of the outer circle minus the radius of the inner circle. So the width is equal to r1 minus r2. Here in the formula for the area we have the difference of squares, which means that the area is equal to pi times and r1 squared minus r2 squared is equal to r1 plus r2 times r1 minus r2. And note that pi times r1 plus r2 is one half of the perimeter, while r1 minus r2 is the width. So the area is equal to the perimeter over 2 times the width. Let's use this formula in the same example as before. The area of an annulus is equal to one half of the perimeter times the width. And in this case, the perimeter is equal to the outer perimeter, which is 2 pi times 5, plus the inner perimeter, which is 2 pi times 3. and that is equal to 10 pi plus 6 pi, which is equal to 16 pi. The width is just the difference between the outer radius and the inner radius, so the width is equal to 5 minus 3, which is equal to 2, and the area is now equal to the perimeter over 2, which is 16 pi over 2, times the width, which is 2, and that is equal to 16 pi. So we get the same answer as before. With that in mind, I leave you with this question. If we increase the inner radius of an annulus by a factor of 2, should we decrease the width by a factor of 2 in order for area to remain the same? That is all for this video. If you liked it, click the like button, it helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you next time.